felt like it would be more symbolic in the dark. But either way, the message that I'm going to say is going to be one of the most powerful that I ever say. Um, it's been a hell of a last two days. Hell of a last two days. And yes, as a professional wrestling fan, seeing the man that I call my idol, who has been buried, who has been stomped in the ground and had his face shoved in mud for the past two to three years, seeing him grab his title is so symbolic to me. Jonathan Good, John Moxley, Dean Ambrose, whatever you want to go by, my name's Eddie. Eddie Bainey. I'm from a little town in Pennsylvania called Anvil. I call myself the lovable lunatic and I modeled that after you. I've been watching you for about 10 years now and I study all of all of your promos and no I'd say at least 50% of them word by word. I'm a little sometimes, you know, my head's a little blah, I'm all over the place, so it's hard for me to remember who I am at times. I sometimes I don't even feel I'm in control of myself and I go off edge a little bit. I, I become unhinged, if you will. And what I'm really trying to say to you here is you have been one of my main inspirers in my path that I'm on now. I struggle with drug addiction for years. And I became clean within the last six to nine months here. And watching you has really helped me with staying away from that lifestyle. I'm a bit of a loner. You know, I have been stabbed in the back by people that I've called brother. I've been walked out on because I wouldn't give people handouts or bail them out of situations. I have been called a liar. I've been told I can't do anything because I'm too unstable, because I'm not all together there in the head. <laughs> and seeing a guy like you do what you're doing, not just now that you won the title, but each and every day is amazing to me. I know personally, outside of wrestling, you lived a hard life, and I'm sorry of what you, for what you've gone through. I can relate because I've wasted years, spent a lot of time in the back of a cop car, spent some time behind bars for stuff that I don't even want to get into right now. I've lost the people that I love to most to addiction, to suicide, death, whatever reason, you name it. I've had to bury the people that I said I could never lose. And for some reason, here I am, walking. I've been left for dead. I've been buried into the ground. And seeing you do what you do and your promos inspire me because I, I do have something to prove. I have to prove that I'm going to get where I want to go in life. I'm going to grab my title in life or I'm going to die trying. And the part of the world that has doubted me, disrespected me, tried to leave me for dead or spit in my face is going to kiss my ass the day I do. It's symbolic to me that you are battling. that have won your title from two guys that you used to call brothers. Because right now, I feel like I'm battling in life with the people I used to call brothers who kick me down and say I can't do anything without them. <laughs> you know, you have taught me that life's not about what you have in here. It's about what you have in here. And I don't think anybody has the guts. I don't think anybody has the will to dig down deep and take it from me. Because at the end of the day, man, I too live by a code just like you do. I don't lie. What, what do I need to lie about? And... I do what I have to do in life simply because if I don't, I would be buried in a grave with my ass up. That's not what I want. You know, the people who go against me, they don't get to win. 
they don't get to win until I, I no, can no longer breathe or walk. And right now, I'm a little sore, but I'm walking just fine. Just because when life knocks me down, I sit there for a second, I laugh, I lick the blood off my lip, and I get up and I say, is that all you got? You hit like a bitch. You have taught me that anything is possible. You have helped me realize everything I ever wanted life, it's all me. And sometimes you is all you got. But if you believe in something, if you work hard enough for something, if you bite, scratch, claw, throw headbutts, throw punches, kicks, whatever it may be at life, you'll get to where you want to go. So this video, it may not get to you, it may, I don't know. I'm taking the chance hoping it does. You got to get it or die trying. This video is to thank you from the bottom of my heart. And it's hard for me not to tear up for you, man, because I went nuts when you won the last, when you achieved your victories the last two nights, man. On Sunday, when first when you won the money in the bank, I thought that was the epiphany. And then later when you cashed in on Seth Rollins, I can't even tell you what that meant to me from a symbolic standpoint. Thank you for doing what you do, D.D. Ambrose. And seeing you're from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I kind of use you as an inspiration, maybe we can get together sometime, have a beer or something. But if not, hold on to that title, dude, because you work too damn hard to let anybody take it from you. Become the longest reigning champion in WWE. Go out and do things that they said you couldn't, dude. Because each and every day, you are inspiring a flock of other lunatics who feel just like you. As you said last night, you are not the man or the guy. You might be the dude, but the one thing you are and what you've always been in my heart is champion. Thank you for that, Dean Ambrose. Keep doing what you do. Kick ass.